So Camilla Harris so-called calls herself trying to unveil a plan to empower black men, but only this ain't no plan to just benefit black men and empower them and them alone. This is a liftoff program. Her opportunity economy is a plan for everyone. You know, it's a liftoff program. One of them things where to leave foundational black Americans getting a residue of crumbs that falls out the potato chip bag and these other groups of people will be getting a whole potato chip. And I don't rock with that because they're willing to do everything under the sun. You know, say they'll offer up this, that, and the third. Well, we give you a free coffee, a free gym membership, but do the right thing, which is cut the check uh, for reparations to foundational black Americans whose ancestors built this nation or offer up some kind of tangibles, period. You know, we might even be willing to consider that specifically allocated to our group and not everyone else, because every time they offer us something as foundational black Americans, they got to try to attach it to this group, that group, minorities, people of color, you know, everybody. And we just ain't having that no more. We need things specifically done for our group of people, you know, and you think they're getting very desperate now with their ploys and their tactics. They sent Barack Obama out there, you know, and they had Kamala Harris uh, up in a church, you know, looked like she was praying or something like that. They're getting very drastic and they attempts to garner the black vote, the black male vote. So if you're you're that desperate, you know, why, why does the light switch go off to y'all damn morons and say we need to do the right thing, which is cut the check for foundational black Americans, you know? That's the name of the game now. The name of the game has changed. It's tangibles. And if ain't no tangibles offered up, I'm in favor of not voting. In fact, I ain't voting for neither party because neither party, the, the Republicans or the Democrats, got no plan for foundational black Americans. So I got the um, the the her article where she uh, says she's planning to empower uh, black men. And we're going to see if this is really uh, a plan to empower black men or is this a lift on program? But it's a lift on program to me, family. So we're going to walk through and talk about this thing. I'm going to read it and we're going to talk about it. It says Vice President Harris will build an opportunity economy where everyone um, has the opportunity to not just get by, but get ahead. Keyword being everyone. See, this word everyone was thrown in there to dissipate the energy. You know, anything that this was supposed to do for black people has now been destroyed because they added everyone to it. So everyone will benefit from this, but foundational black Americans. It'll be one of that one of them things where we're left getting crumbs and residue while other pe groups of people get the whole potato chip. And it also went on to say providing one million in loans that are fully forgivable to black entrepreneurs and others to start a business. Key word being others. See, other groups of people will benefit off this. It's not something specifically allocated to foundational black Americans. This is why, you know, um, these words are so important because they're used to make our people trip and stumble, you know, because th these words will be put in here and dissipate the, the energy of the whole thing. And it said it also went on to say championing education, training and entrepreneurial programs that will help black men get good paying jobs in high demand industries. It also went on to say supporting regulatory framework for cryptocurrency and other digital assets. So black men who invest in and own their assets are protected, launching national equity initiative focused on. Black men that address sickle cell disease, diabetes, mental health, so on and so forth, legalizing recreational marijuana and creating opportunities for black men to succeed in this new industry. And if you ask me, all of these things she just mentioned can be addressed by cutting a check to foundational black Americans in the form of cash reparations. Um, we will be able to address um, better health care through reparations because um money speaks volume. So we'll be able to get good health care if we get that check for reparations. And, you know, we'll, we won't need no loans if we get uh, the check for reparations because we'll be able to start our own businesses, which a lot of foundational black Americans will, will you know, we'll employ our own people, put jobs in the community, and we won't um, need no loan from you guys. Reparations will cover all of this, but you're willing to do everything but do the right thing, which is cut the check for foundational black Americans. And then you so-called just doing this, you know, it's a trick, you know, a ploy, a sales tactic, a gimmick to garner the black male support by her saying this black empowerment program, because this ain't no black empowerment program. This is an empowerment program for everyone under the sun, but black men and black men will be stuck. Foundational black Americans will be stuck getting the crumbs and the residue that falls out the potato chip bag. So uh, Roland Martin, um, and other democratic shields, I'm seeing that they want to want to run around with this narrative that the farther we get out from civil rights, 
in the civil rights era. That's why they're not seeing a turnout in black male support for the democratic plantation. And that couldn't be farther from the truth if you ask me because our ancestors fought for civil rights, kicked the door down. And once we kicked the door down, everyone ran in and gained off of it and profited off of it but us. You know, it was used to lift everyone else up but us. You know, our fight and our struggle. We just peep the game nowadays, us younger generation of, you know, foundational black Americans that, you know, um, you can't keep on doing the same thing and expecting a different result. You know, this is the definition of insanity. If you want something new, you got to try new things and, you know, go about things a different way. The old ways can't be used to take you to new heights. Sometimes you got to branch out and try new things. And this is just what we peep. We peep the game. And what you guys didn't expect was the delineation movement to be, you know, catching on so heavy. Because now when y'all say y'all got somebody that's put a black person out there that's supposed to be our black leader, we're saying now, where is this person from? Because we want to know the mindset and the psyche of this person that's supposed to be a black person, you know, and Barack Obama helped us for some of this in because we were wondering why he was turning a blind eye to our interests and needs while black people was getting unjustly slaughtered by race soldiers, uh, Ku Klux Klan members with a badge and come to find out he was a tether immigrant, you know, um, not even of the lineage. So, you know, the name of the game now is um, tangibles and we questioning people that you say as a black leader, we questioning where is this person from because it lets us know the mindset and the psyche of some of these people. And I'm noticing now, too, you know, a lot of people was pointing this out when Barack Obama caught himself trying to poke his chest out and speak, uh, you know, down to, uh, you know, check black men, you know, speaking down to black men about us not supporting Cam Camilla Harris. A lot of them guys around Barack Obama looked at like tethers, truth be told. And um, and now we're noticing with Camilla Harris, she's taking like photo op pictures with you know, all of these supposed to be uh, all of these black men, you know what I mean? And what we're noticing is that, you know, th this is fake. You know, she's buying fake black support, you know, a black buying fake black bases of people to support her. You know, and the Democratic Party had done this for some time now to make it the symbolism says volumes. You know, some people, you know, the untrained mind to just go off the symbolism and think because, you know, they see a few black people that black people are really rocking with Camilla Harris. See, for the most part, black people ain't rocking with Camilla Harris, and I ain't rocking with neither party. I'm for neither party. I'm, you know, I'm sitting this thing out, but a lot of black people ain't rocking with Camilla Harris, black men and women. It ain't just black men, and this is what they don't want to get out there. You know, Trump is out there in the front of her, you know, and it's not neck and neck, but I ain't voting for neither party, like I said, because neither party got a plan for foundational black Americans, but Camilla Harris is out here buying fake black support, this, that, and the other. See, if you really want to garner the black vote, the black male vote, you got to do something tangible, specifically allocated to foundational black Americans, not everyone else. You know, the name of the game is what are you willing to do now for the black vote in the form of tangibles and doing the right thing by us and only us, you know, um, not saying that we don't wish other people, you know, get their leg up, but these other groups of people have gotten theirs and we've been the ones that have been that sacrificial lamb, so to speak, and we've got nothing for our vote. So we need something for our vote. And until something is produced uh, for the vote by either party, I'm in favor of sitting this thing out. Just my thoughts on the matter. Peace.